Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a full analysis video on the new 2014 fall uh, lineup for Halo Mega Bloks. Um, there's been official, well I'd say, press images that have been released. Um, kind of like box images that have been out so far. So, I'm going to be going over that and some other pictures from Toy Fair. Um, as some of you may have noticed, my other video got erased from YouTube because it got flagged by someone or YouTube just saw it and said the content was inappropriate which you guys know there was no nudity or you know cuss words in it so I, I have no idea why it, it got erased who cares this video is probably gonna be more interesting to you guys because I'm gonna be you know giving my full opinion on the new sets that are coming up so first things first right here we have the new not series 10 but the alpha series so what Megablox has decided they're doing is um Instead of calling Series 10, Series 10, they're going to start calling Series specific names, uh, which I think that's a really, really interesting and cool idea that they're doing, um, instead of doing the basic Series 8, Series 9, stuff like that. Anyways, uh, credit uh, for these photos all go to figures.com, and some go to Toy Arc, I believe, um, so here is a picture of this, and let's go to the next image. Right here we got the combat unit, which is, every figure you see there is not included in this set. I believe the active camo brood is included, but I don't think the gold storm elite or the uh, aviator spartan is included. The brute major or captain might be included. Captain might be included, um, but yeah. Here is another prototype picture of it, and you can see a brown ODST behind him, and I can confirm that's a brown ODST because there's another image that really gives it away. Uh, I think that I believe that I have uh, another image. Right here is Micro Action Figures Alpha Series, uh, and this is a lot better of an image. So uh, on the bottom, you can see the four metallic droplets that are coming out, and I do believe the Elite Zealot one is not an Elite Zealot. I think it's going to be a Red Storm Elite in it. So some of these sets actually don't have have figures next to them that aren't included. I believe, um, although they might. So as you can see, this picture is still s sort of prototypey. I can tell on the Gunger, Gungier, kind of hard to say, Spartan right there, or the white one. Uh, it looks really cool in prototype as well. And that uh, Crimson Brute Captain looks amazing, so I'm excited for that guy. Uh, although I do think it's Halo Reach, and I hate the Halo Reach Brutes. Halo Reach Brutes, I mean, I absolutely hate them. Uh, I'm just hoping that they make a Halo, Re Halo 3 Brute Captain uh, this line really, really bad. Um... Anyways, so my guess is here the ultra rare is going to be the phasing brute stalker, as you can see he's kind of running, and the rare is probably going to be the brute captain and the gunger spartan. I know I'm probably not saying it right, and I'm probably going to get a lot of hate comments about that, so I'm sure someone will correct me though. A gun gear, I mean, that might be how you say it actually. Uh, that green Spartan Scout looks amazing. Yellow Mark 6, already been made, but I'm guessing it's going to be a little different. The blue Spartan, I can't really tell what it is, although I think think it's a Enforcer Spartan, I'm not entirely sure. And the Scout Spartan is remolded again, which is even better. Now it's much more accurate. And they do include the Cauldron Clash Halo 4 Marine. So this series looks much better than others, and it does include a Storm Grunt, which is in a really weird color, but this series looks much better than uh, much other a lot of other series, and I'm really excited for it. Uh, the other four draw pods, you get the brown draw pod down there, uh, which looks interesting. The teal draw pod looks pretty cool. And the Covenant uh, drop pods are a nice addition. Um, like I said, I don't think that Elite Zealot is included in that. The Purple Elite Storm looks really cool, though. Um, yeah. Next, we have the Armory Packs, and this is a much better picture of them. Uh, so there's the UNSC Weapon Spec 2, which has already been released. Covenant Weapon Spec 2 with the Halo Reach Brute Miner. Like I said, I hate the Halo Reach Brutes, but it's nice they're bringing this one into the line. I wish they would have done the Halo 3 Brute Miner first. I mean, I don't understand why they didn't. Uh, maybe it's because McFarlane made the Brute Miner. I believe they did, uh, the Brute Miner in their action figure before making Halo 3 Brute Miners, I'm not sure. Doesn't look like it has painted weapons, actually yes it does, yes it does. Um, but other than that, that weapon spec looks really good. Next we have the Promethean or Forerunner weapon spec too, with the Crawler Snipe, that looks great with that light rifle. That's going to be a must have, that one looks great, uh, definitely going to be picking up multiple of those. Uh, there's the Spartan 4 battle pack, already been released, but as of I know that all these uh, spring sets are going to be re-released with uh, interchangeable armor and better articulation for most of these figures. Spartan Assault Battle Pack. Like I said, you did, you guys did see the other picture with the Brute Captain. Let me try to go back to that. Um, there it is. Right there. So, there's those four figures, and I'm pretty sure you don't see any of those. 
Uh oh, I'm going backwards here. Any of those um, right here. As you can see, that's an active camo jackal. Uh, yellow recruit. Sarah Palmer is included in this battle pack, not in the uh, Alpha series. Uh, so that might be a surprise to somebody. And a Brute Stalker. So I don't think the Brute Stalker is included in this pack because it was not previewed at Toy Fair, which definitely shows us that it's not going to be in that set. But then again, the Active Camo Jackal and the Yellow uh, Recruit were not previewed either. But after watching Commander Bakara's Toy Fair video, Tim uh, um, confirmed that the Yellow Recruit, uh, what's his name, and Spartan uh, and Palmer are going to be included in that uh, battle pack. So, I believe those two figures are definitely going to be included, but I'm not sure about the other two. Hopefully not. I, I don't want those in the battle pack. Even though I love Brute Stalkers, I'd much rather see that Brute Captain in that battle pack. Um, but overall, these sets look great. Next, we have the small sets. The UNSC All-Terrain Mongoose with that awesome meal. But, I know some of you are going to yell at me for saying this. Josh, they made a meal. How are you complaining? Well, the answer to that is I really wish Emil would have been in the elephant because a mongoose is going to be something people really want to army build and I don't want to have like five Emils because that's kind of weird. So that's kind of odd they included that in the mongoose. But other than that, they made a meal. I don't care. That mongoose looks amazing. Halo 4 design, I believe, and it looks amazing. Emil looks almost even better. Even better. And it's just amazing. In that wombat attack... Very, very odd of a set. Uh, never would have expected them to make this, but who knows? It, it's an actual set that's really cool. And it does come with the rookie. It is confirmed that is actually the rookie minifigure. So that is really, really awesome. Very excited for that. Um, and there's the off world Cyclops, which is a pretty cool set. Um, next, we have the fire teams, which are sort of like the Call of Duty battle packs. Uh, these just look absolutely amazing. I am very, very pumped for these. So first we got the Fire Team Crimson with, I believe, the Red Mark Six, a Red Scout, a Red Enforcer, Red Recruit, and a Red EVA, or I think that's an EVA. That looks really, really, really cool. And then we got the Fire Team Venom, which looks even better. You got the Oceanic Spartan uh, with the Rocket Launcher, a Lime Scout, an Aviator in the back, I believe, which is a... Nope, that's not a new mold assault rifle, I thought it was. And a Gun Gear and an enforcer, so these look really, 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 really interesting, include a lot of new molds, and I'm very impressed with them. Next, we got the Micro Fleet sets, we got the three normal ones that have already been released, but they are going to be re-released uh, with the new articulation for the figures, and we got the brand new Micro Fleet Falcon, uh, which I'm not so impressed with, uh, just looks really basic to me, it looks like the Covert Ops Falcon, but the official picture showed a green Falcon. Uh, so, it does come with a new Halo 4 Sniper, which is really cool, though. Uh, the blue Mark 6 looks really interesting. I'm definitely going to be picking up that set for that Mark 6. Uh, the Falcon and that little purple thing, whatever it is, I don't know. They look cool, but I'm more excited for the Spartan. Next, we got this really, really cool Flame Warthog. Um, I would have liked to have seen a new Halo 3 Warthog that they did, because the last one was five years ago, and it would be nice to get one of those again. But, you know, you can't have a... Halo Megablox line, or just Halo Megablox year without a Warthog, so this is very, very awesome. I believe, um, this is from Halo Wars? Not entirely sure. I remember that, uh, Mr. Halo Megablocker told me that if you bought the Halo Wars, like, early or something, if you bought Halo Wars early, you could get this in the game, so, uh, yeah. Next, we have the Flood Invasion set. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Tim confirmed that it does come with two flood tanks and I think two flood carriers, even though they don't picture it on the box. But this set is loaded. I believe the retail on this is $39.99. It is still a good deal, even though it is like 200 pieces. I mean, you still get so many figures in it. It's such a good army builder for those flood. So this is an amazing set. It even includes a flood infected ghost. So, I mean, I, I, I'm, I can't wait for an, all of these sets. They look amazing. This one particularly, I'm just in love with. Uh, those two Marines actually are going to be Halo 2 uh, Marines. Uh, Tim confirmed that too. That's really cool. Next, we got the picture of the RC Mantis with Master Chief. Uh, that is confirmed also. And that controller is inspired off of the Xbox One controller, by the way. It doesn't have lights and sounds in it, it or it does. Um, I believe it is going to be green. Uh, that was just the prototype at Toy Fair. Hopefully it is green. That'll be awesome. Um, the one con I had with have with this thing is that they previewed it at Toy Fair, and the legs don't move whatsoever. I mean, it's an RC thing. The legs should move. I mean, but it does... 
activate and stuff and have some features on the top so that's cool hopefully the retail isn't too high if it is if it is i'm not gonna be picking it up but if it isn't i definitely will next we got probably my favorite set of this line and this is the broadsword um it has 800 pieces and believe it or not the retail is only 59.99 and you get three of these awesome figures i don't think you can get much better than that honestly so you get the didact look, which looks like he can even light up. Oh my god. And Master Chief, which has the super articulation. Which some people are really, you know, bugged about that. I'm a little bugged about it, but I think it's cool that they're actually adding that. And I think they're just going to try that for 2014. And if it doesn't go well, I don't think they're going to do it for 2015. But, I don't know. And it does include a new Cortana, which is really awesome. Um, so, it's going to represent the last mission of Halo 4 when Cortana and Master Chief fought the didact. And the broadsword itself... Personally, one of my favorite vehicles so far by looking at it. So, very awesome set. Next, we got the UNSC Elephant Troop Carrier from Halo Wars. Um, the main reason I'm going to be picking this set up is for the freaking Noble Team. You get June, which has a new molded sniper, and Carter. Two Noble Team. And they're actually called Carter and June on the packaging, uh, which is confirmed. So, that, that that's awesome. I mean, you get half of the noble team in this line so that that's just amazing and you do get four marines as well so and a little cortana it looks like so this is this is going to be a great set i think it was really interesting for them to choose this but i think it's going to fit the new line pretty well uh next we got the new mombasa police sets like i said i'm not so excited about the hornet but I'm still going to buy it for the figures, and I bet I'm going to like it a lot more once it comes out. I believe the retail on that is 30 bucks. The car, I believe, is 20 The police cruiser, which is definitely my favorite one out of those, uh, with that brute chieftain, absolutely stunning. Um, the Cyclops, pretty cool. I think the retail on that is 15 So these, these all look like pretty cool sets. I'm definitely going to be picking up all of them. Uh, that is another image of Series Alpha of the packaging, so that is very awesome. Uh, it shows all the eight figures and even the translucents. Um, so I, th I believe it's, ooh, that's a blue enforcer and some kind of covert ops Spartan, I believe. And the gold Stormly, and we didn't see that on the packaging. So I believe instead of the gold Mark Six, they're going to be including the gold Stormly. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Um, pretty confusing here, but looks cool. And the translucents, I can almost confirm the orange one is a recruit. I'm pretty sure the purple one's a jackal, and I'm pretty sure the brown one's an ODST. It's going to be cool to get a translucent ODST for once. Uh, and for those of you saying that it's, there's already been a translucent ODST, no, there's only been an active camo one. They're different. Um, but yeah, there's a better image of the translucents, uh, so you can get a better view of them. And it does look like there's a gun gear. I don't see this uh, Sarah Palmer. Oh, wait, that's not in this again. My bad. Um, better image at all of them. This one's from ToyArc.com. Uh, there you can get a better look at, I guess, kind of the Alpha Series. And there's the Aviator Spartan. Very cool. Uh, there's another image. And that basically concludes this video of all the new sets. Um, I don't think I'm missing any. I might be. Let me think. No, I don't think I am. I think I got them all. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was too long. Um... Just kind of giving my analysis on everything. I might be doing one of these with Call of Duty. If you want me to, please leave a comment, and I will be sure to do that uh, when I have the time. So, uh, and also leave a comment on what you guys think of the new uh, Series 10 or Alpha Series. I am very impressed with it. Uh, this line is probably going to be the best line of all time, in my opinion, uh, even beating ser or 2011, because 2011 was a good line, too. But I think this one is going to be the best. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like if you did, and thanks for watching.